And we're back with Today Food and Top Chef host Padma Lakshmi. Bravo's hit cooking competition returns this week for its 20th season. They've headed to London for the first season to star chef attestants from all around the world. Padma, good morning. I had to look good at my morning. notes twice. I was like, 20 seasons, 16 years. Do you remember, like, day one? Do you remember what it was like when you started on this journey? I do. I remember yeah. what I was wearing. I was wearing these boots and a cream silk blouse. I thought I was going to blow up in flames. Um, and it was exciting. You know, I only took the job because I thought it would help my cookbook a little bit. Yeah. I never thought it would turn into this pop culture phenomenon and it's such a thing now. I mean, nothing lasts this long. Nothing lasts Correct. this many years or this many seasons. Um, what do you think it is about it? And, what, and how have the contestants changed, do you think, over the years? I think it's really compelling to see someone be great at their job yeah. or try to be the best at their job. And you don't have to be a food professional to know good food. We all have such strong opinions yeah. about it. And I think the real stars of our shows are the competitors and the cities that we go to every season. I think that's part of it. It's like it's global now. Now we're introducing people to food from places they may not ever be able to visit. Yeah, which is something I've wanted to do way back yeah. when. Yeah. And I think we've just come around to doing that more often. And this season, we are international for the first time. You know, Top Chef is in 174 territories, but it's also franchised in 29 countries. So they have their own Top Chefs, like, you know, France and Thailand and... Brazil. Wow. So we're taking chefs from 11 of those countries who've all already competed and also some American ones. And you have to have one top chef already or been a finalist in order to compete. So cool. the competition is already starting at a very high level. All right, come, let's cook. We're making right. chicken tikka masala. Yes, this is like the chow mein of Indian food. Truly. Okay. I just all want right. to say that. But, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. but, you know, it is the national dish okay. of um, England. Believe it or not, wow. first, it, you know, Great Britain colonized um, India. So mm -hmm. what I'm mixing in here is garam masala, mm -hmm. which is a very typical North Indian spice blend. I'm mm -hmm. going to have you um, mix that up a little yep. bit. Yeah, mix with this. Okay. Either one. Okay, I'll and mix that. It also has some mild Kashmiri chili powder, okay. some salt, yeah. some uh, turmeric, right. and, and some lemon juice. Now okay. that is our marinade. And so, so you're that put marinade this in? Okay. is. Um, going mm -hmm. to have this chicken. Now you want to marinate this chicken at room temperature for at least 30 minutes or Got more it. in the Coat fridge. It. Got it. And then you're going to toast some spices. Toasting whole spices is as easy as doing it in a hot dry pan for 90 seconds. I have black cardamom, which is different than That's green what it cardamom. Looks like. Look at that. It's yeah. also prevalent yeah. in Chinese cooking. Cumin, cloves, coriander seed, and red chili. And you just whiz that up mm -hmm. and um, a little spice grinder or coffee so, grinder. So you've taken that and you've put it yes. in the spices. Okay. No, the spices are going to go here. Oh. But this What's is our this? marinated chicken with some of the marinade. Ah, still left it on off, it. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. I know you, this you is You want to do it? I don't know how to do it. You okay, wait and it goes. gets hot. I don't understand. You know how to do this. Let's it gets go. hot and then you're just going to sear it. it. Mm, so you're going to sear this mm. and just two or three minutes on each side because you want that pan char roasted cool. feeling. Now here, I already have some marinade. Aromatics. It's just red onion, mm -hmm. garlic, ginger, mm -hmm. a whole red chili that I've slit so that you can find it, and some cumin. Okay. Not yet, Hoda. Oh, I'm ahead of <laughs> uh, you. Slow goes, down, girl. What goes in this is the tomato paste. That's yeah. going to give you some umami. Got about and a that's mm -hmm. when you do the spice blend. Okay. And then just some anchor. Got it. Salt. Now you can put that in. Now's my turn. Great. Hoda. Come and on. And then you're going to do water let this cook for about 20 minutes yeah when it cooks down yeah it looks like this love okay and then to this you're going to add the chicken we brown that's just been yeah. cut up in bits stir mm. that around that's going to cook here this is probably easier oh. <laughs> for about 10 minutes and then i'm using lussie lussie is drinkable yogurt oh, it is also wait, what we what? that chicken in it ah. tenderizes the meat most people make this dish with heavy cream this guys. is healthier. Thought it was butter. This is healthier. Well, guys, less what do you think? Protein. What are we thinking? It has, it has more protein, more probiotics, less fat. Is it easy to find? Or it's heard easy of it? to find. You can find less it at Whole Foods. So Let's see. It's drinkable this yogurt. This is yummy. I can't stop. Thank it's Padma. so good, Padma. The best. You can get this recipe today.com slash food. Catch Top Chef Thursday night. It's on our sister network, Bravo. Hold it. Padma, thank you. Jimmy, turn the temperature down. It's like 70 minus. I know we did that. You're up now. now.